Hi friends, welcome to my first video in my PHP tutorial. Um, even if you don't know a lot of coding, I'm going to try to teach you everything I can. Um, I'm using Windows 7, um, not that this any of this matters, but just so you can get your bearings. Um, I'm using Adobe Dreamweaver as an editor, um, but it's a plain text you know, markup language, so you could use Notepad, you can use literally anything. Um, just make sure you save the file with a PHP extension. Um, some web servers use PHP 5 extension if that's what you want to do. Um, I always just use PHP. Um, so we're just going to save this index.php. Uh, index is you know usually the the file name that gets run automatically if there's nothing else in a folder. Um, and, you know there's lots of fancy things. I'm using Dreamweaver just so you can see the, the markup. It changes the colors. It makes it a little more obvious what I'm doing. Um, and also I can automatically upload to my web server so that's nice makes it go a little faster you don't have to wait around for um, but if you don't have that just get a you know get the FileZilla FTP client I'll put the link in the uh, in the description um, Dreamweaver is pretty expensive not everyone's gonna be able to afford it obviously so um, alright let's get started um, so PHP is basically executed on the server side of, of a, a website. Um, so you can integrate it into HTML. I recommend highly being comfortable with HTML before you're going to move on to, to PHP. Um, so you know we can just real quick make your standard bare bones um, HTML site. save that. So this is just, you know, your your typical HTML and this is just going to, you know, it's going to say test in the title bar and it's going to say hi in the body. So we'll just upload this to a website. Do 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 do. do. Don't show me this again. Okay. And this is the directory, so we go to it, and it says test, and it says hi. Now, that's all well and good. That's HTML. It's static. It never changes. You can't make it say anything other than hi, unless you want to use some type of programming language. If you use, if you want it done on the client side, you want it done on by the computer that's looking at the website, you should use JavaScript. Um, that's a whole other can of worms. We'll get there eventually. But if you want it done on the client side, you want it done all the calculations done before the, the client ever sees the uh, the website, they're going to want to use PHP. And PHP lets you dynamically change you know all kinds of stuff, but it's just going to print out as regular HTML code to anyone who checks the source of your of your uh, website. So, all right, we're going to put it right here. Um, you know. And obviously this isn't up to spec. You shouldn't always declare doc type and all that stuff. But um, just for our purposes, this is this is fine. Um, now all PHP it goes you know, if you're going to put it inside of an HTML file, or if you're going to have it just you know by itself, not an HTML file, but a PHP file with HTML in it. Um, you're going to want to wrap everything that you do in these tags. You know, open question mark PHP question mark close, and that tells the Apache web server or whatever web server you're using that anything inside of here is PHP code. Um, there's a short version where you can do this sometimes, um, but you got to specify it in your in your INI file for your web server. Not recommended. Just do that. It's easier. It's better. Um, so if you're familiar with any other programming languages it's it's very similar um, because it is web based you're gonna have to use a semicolon to declare end of end of line um, that may be different from most compiler type languages um, but we'll get to all that uh, so let's start we'll make our first PHP program um, so the first code the first uh, command you should learn is echo now echo is just going to echo whatever we type. So we'll echo 
high. Um, and just a side note, you can use either double quotes or single quotes um, around strings. This is a string because it's just a, a string of text. Um, I use single quotes because that way I can embed you know, double quotes in my HTML. So I just always use double quotes in HTML. I always use single quotes in PHP. So if we want this, you know, style equals color red, then we can just do it like that, no problem. Everything is nice and separate. Um, if you want to do this with double quotes, I mean, you can do it backwards from the way I do it if that's, you know, what you want to do. You can put double quotes on the outside, single quotes on the inside, or you can use all the same type of quotes if you want to, to do that. Um, and there is a difference. There are small differences um, in the way strings are handled with, uh, with double quotes and single quotes, but it's minimal and we'll get to that. Um, so if you, wanted, if you want to use all double quotes or all single quotes, you need to escape them first because you know this says this is where our string starts this is this is where our string ends uh, if you don't escape this then PHP is gonna think your your string ends there um, so escape is just a back backslash um, and just put that before any qu double quote that you don't really mean um, and you know sometimes you have to do this uh, just to get your strings to work but Whatever, I digress. Um, so I'm gonna do it the way I like to do it, which is double quotes on the inside, single quote on the outside. And then we put a semicolon at the end of the line, which means that's where the line ends. Um, so you could, you know, put echo, you can start the next one right after it. And we'll put a line break here um, just to keep your code neat you should you know usually just put one on a line that's what I like to do um, so okay here's our strings so this is what anything inside of these colons is going to get um, sent to the browser so let's save this real quick and see what that looks like. So we open our page. Ha! Huh. So there's our red high, and there's our high, high, high world, which is what we would expect to see. Um, one thing you're gonna probably forget a lot is to put line breaks in and put, you know, put your HTML code in there. But this is what it looks like. Uh, you know, to, you can't tell that it's been manipulated by PHP at all. Um, so, just kind of a cool, cool thing. All right. Uh, one other thing we're going to get to in this just introductory lesson is: so you, you've learned what a string is, and you've learned the echo command, which are you know a, a huge part of huge part of of PHP. Um, so now we're going to do variables. And the way you define a variable, um, just a simple string variable, or um, you know, PHP is very forgiving language. Uh, it'll let you get away with a lot. So you don't have to declare what kind of you know, vari variable you want. So uh, you know, we can just say var equals hello world, colon, we'll get rid of these. And that's a string. Now, if you want an integer, um, you know you can name your variables anything. Um, I think they might have to start with a letter. They can probably start with a number, though. I don't know. Um, but if it's a string, you need to encase it in either single or double quotes. If it's uh, an integer, if it's just a number, you don't have to use the the quotes. So let's say that's two. Or that's seven, and that's well. Let's just do it like this, so it's easier to remember. Um, 
Okay, so now if we want to manipulate this variable, we say echo var, no quotes. If you put quotes there, it's just going to echo var, dollar sign var, and that's not what we want. We want the, the meaning of the variable. Um, so we can create, we can just echo it straight out like that, or we can do some you know minor manipulations. Um, parentheses in PHP is what you use to, you know, denote inside of a function. I mean, you could, you could, you know, what you want done first, math, that kind of thing. So um, we can just add up var two and var three inside of quotes, and then anything, you know, it says add these first, then echo the result. Um, so let's take a look at how that looks. And remember, uh, oh, one more thing. If you want to combine a variable and a string, you just use a period. So a period is like an and or a plus in, in some other languages. Um, so var, var. So that's how you combine a variable and a string. If you want one on both sides, you know, just start and then put your period in. And there's always got to be a period between. Um, and you know you can you can stick multiple variables together the same way, um, just with the period it means echo this and this. So just think of it as an and. Um, so let's see what this looks like. Upload that, and there's our hello world and five, which is two plus three. So these are the two main types of, of variables. There's also a thing called arrays, which we will get to in the next video. But that's it for this one. Um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get through this pretty fast. I hope that you guys can can stay with me. You know, if you don't have a lot of time to learn this, um, you know, I taught myself. This is basically how I did it. So uh, hopefully you like this series and it'll uh, it'll help you out. All right. So in the next one, I'll show you. Arrays. Okay. See you.